This morning, our state is in shock, and I want to take this moment to speak directly to the people of our state. To our first responders, I'm in awe of you. I'm in awe of your courage. I'm in awe of your strength. I'm in awe of everything you do for each and every one of us. You saw a crisis, and you said, what can I do to help? And our response teams are doing everything in our power to rescue and recover the victims of this collapse literally as we speak. We are still investigating what happened, but we are quickly gathering details. The preliminary investigation points to an accident. We haven't seen any credible evidence of a terrorist attack. Our administration is working closely with leaders from all levels of government and society to respond to this crisis and not but just by addressing the immediate aftermath but also by building a state that is more resilient and a state that's more safe. That is our pledge and that's our commitment to the victims of this tragedy and their loved ones. All of our hearts are broken. We feel your loss, we're thinking of you, and we will always be thinking of you. We pray for the construction workers who are on the key bridge and we pray for everyone who has been touched by this tragedy and their families and all of their loved ones. But Maryland, we will get through this because that is the Maryland spirit and that's what Maryland is made of. We are Maryland tough and we are Baltimore strong. We know the Key Bridge. I've ridden over the Key Bridge countless times so many of us know the Key Bridge because it is our normal commute. This is a place that is a normal commute route for over 30,000 Marylanders every single day. And so to hear the words that the Key Bridge has collapsed, it's shocking um, and heartbreaking. And immediately uh, the first thought and the first ideas go back to what happened to the people where we, what was the impact on, 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 on human life. Um, but for every single one of us who are Marylanders, the words that the key bridge is gone, it, it still shakes us. Because for over, for 47 years, that's all we've known. And so this is, uh, this is, this is uh, not, just, not just unprecedented from what we're seeing and what we're looking at today, um, it's heartbreaking. Governor, can you confirm that the crew on the ship uh, alerted authorities that it had lost propulsion and was in trouble? Uh, we, we can we can confirm that uh, that the, the crew uh, notified uh, notified authorities of a, of a power issue. Yes, and that they had lost power on the ship. Yes, um, the uh, the crew that was out there working was basically repairing potholes. Just so you understand, that had nothing to do with a structural issue at all at the, at the, in the facility. Um, at this time, one person has been uh, rescued in so far, and our, continue, our efforts continue in, in terms of that. Um, engineers are on site right now determining both some of the structural issues, obviously some of the debris field, and we'll start to work that, but we'll work hand-in-hand -hand with the NTSB before we take any further action in that area.